In this video, I am going to show you how to record video lectures in PowerPoint. This is the simplest and the fastest method to record video lessons. It could be educational videos, it could be video for your YouTube channel or videos for your online course. And in these videos, your image will appear on the corner of the presentation. Only this area will be recorded which is the slide in PowerPoint and all these slides have few notes and you can read from these notes while recording your video. Nobody will be able to see these notes and the video lecture will be recorded with narration. Your sound, whatever you are explaining will be recorded and you will be able to interact with your slides during the recording of the video. Not only these benefits, but also you will be able to change the recording of any of your slides. In my second slide, I have some math expressions. And for those of my subscribers who are math teachers, I will also demonstrate at the end how I created these math expressions by using a website very quickly. In the third slide, I have animation. This is the simplest animation, no fancy. But the purpose is to show you that in your video, you can also include animations. While recording your video lecture in PowerPoint, you will be able to interact with your slides. If you want to write something here, you will be able to do that. If you want to run an animation, you will also be able to run the animation while recording your video lecture in PowerPoint. I will also show you at the end of this video how I created these slides. Because if you create these slides of a particular size, then you will save a lot of time in settings. So I created all these slides in 1920 by 1080. I will show you how. And then what you can do is you can simply click on insert and picture. And when you will insert a picture of this size, it will occupy full area of your slide and you don't have to set any margin or anything. So before recording your video lecture, this is a good exercise that you create all your slides in 1920 by 1080 uh, using Canva, which I recommend and I will show you how I created these slides at the end of this video. And now our main purpose is to record a video lecture. But before I start, if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. To record a video, you should have this recording tab in your PowerPoint application. I am using Office 365. Sometimes this tab is not available at the top simply because you have not selected this in the customization area. Click on that and then you click on record slideshow. When I click that, it will ask me to record from the current slide or record from the beginning. I am in slide three at the moment, but I want to record my video from the first slide. So I click record from beginning and this interface has few options. My image will automatically appear on the corner and I have few buttons here, few controls here and I want to explain this to you quickly. But one thing you should understand that only this area will be recorded in the video. When the video will be recorded, you will not see the external controls available in the PowerPoint. So you don't have to set anything, but still you have some controls. For example, this red button, if I click here, it will show me a countdown counter, three, two, one, and the recording will start. With these arrows, I can move to the next slide or to the previous slide. I have the ability to interact with these slides. I can write on these slides. And if you are using some tablet during math lectures, as I have explained in other videos, that you should buy a very affordable Wacom tablet, which you can use to record video lectures. That will be highly beneficial and your speed of writing will increase. It is very hard to write with the mouse. But coming back to the topic, let's say I click on this button and it is showing me three, two, one. And now the recording has been started. And as you can see that this red dot has appeared on my image. Uh, you will not see in the video. Uh, this is only to show that the recording is in progress in PowerPoint. And now I can do whatever I like. For example, let's uh, explain that today we are going to learn 
how to solve quadratic equations with the formula. I am doing this because I want to show you uh, in the video. Then I click on the next slide and now I explain if I want to write something I can further do that. For example, I say A equals this, B equals this. So, whatever I want I can explain here. All this is being recorded. Now, I go to next slide to show you how animation works. So, I click once and the animation will run. I can write here as well whatever I want and now when I am done I can click on stop. So, if I click stop now the recording has stopped because I can see this red dot appearing again and as you can see that my video has stopped. Now, I need to click on this close icon cross at the upper right corner click on that and now you will see your image just here at the corner of your slides whatever you have written is in the slides as well. So, everything is fine you will see an extra video area in this uh, animation pane. We can check this whether the recording is uh, correct or not we can change the recording of any of these slides. Now, in order to save this video I have two options save as a show uh, which is a powerpoint show I can save this or I can export this as a video and this is what we are interested in in this video how to create a video lecture in powerpoint. So, I click on that and now I click on create video and now I have to select a folder wherever I want to store this video by default it gets this name presentation 1, but I can change the name and let us say I say video lecture 1 dot mp4. Make sure that mp4 is selected because sometimes you by mistake can change this and do not remove this dot as well. And I am saving on my desktop keep record of the folder where you are saving otherwise you might lose the video file of your lecture and now I click save. Now, at the bottom of your screen you will see this gray color bar which is moving towards right it means that your video is being prepared and depending on the length of the video it might take some time to create your video and this is normal because if you create a video in any video editors other than powerpoint it will also take some time and now this bar disappeared it means that my video is ready and I click on this video lecture 1 and now this is my video and I will move this a little bit forward to show you the other two slides. Now, I am on my second slide explaining something as you can see that it has recorded corner to corner my image is at the lower right corner let us move a little bit further. Now, whatever I am explaining is being recorded here as you can see and now we are moving towards slide 3 and now this is slide 3 and the animation was played and now the video ends at this point. So, as you saw that recording a video lecture in powerpoint is very simple you can interact with your slides during the video recording, your actions will also be recorded, your animations will also be played. And now for those math teachers, I would like to show how I created these math expressions. And for math expressions, you can open this website codecogs.com and I have created this quadratic formula. Let us remove this and the way you do this is you just type x and it will show you x here and make sure that you have selected this huge in this area if you are doing a powerpoint presentation because otherwise the size will be very small. And now x is equal to and now I put equal sign it will appear in this area and now I have to make a fraction. So, I click on this fraction as you can see here this is fraction I click on that and it will insert the latex code for the fraction. I have to put the numerator in the first pair of parentheses and denominator in the second pair. So, minus b then for plus minus I click on this little plus minus and it will insert this backslash pm which is the latex code for plus minus. And for square root this is the square root I click on that it will insert the square root and now b raised to the power I have to write b raised to the power in this pair of parentheses after the backslash sqrt and this is the x raised to the power superscript. So, I click here and I put b in this area, 2 in this area b square minus 4 ac and now this was the second parenthesis of this backslash fraction command and in this 
I write the denominator of this. So in this way I prepared this and then I simply click on click here to download image in the PNG format. You can change the format from here but PNG is the best. Click on that. Now this is your image. Now save as and this is where I saved this image and this was my first image and these were my two slides which I am going to show you how I created these two. So you simply save in your folder. I am not going to do that so I cancel this and now I close this and now I show you how I created my slides very easily. Now open canva.com and click on create a design on the right hand side. It's a free account you can have with Canva and after you click create a design, click on custom dimensions. Now in the first cell you put 1920 and in the second you put 1080 and in the third you select px pixels. You have other options but select this one and then click create a new design. And now this size is the best size for inserting in PowerPoint. Now on the left hand side I have these backgrounds. I click on background. And I have recently used this background for my PowerPoint slides, but you can have any one of these. There are a lot of backgrounds available. So let's select the same one. As you can see on my first slide, I have this green color and then some text. Very easy. Just click on elements. In this bar, you type shapes because a lot of my subscribers ask how you create this background. So therefore, I'm showing you. So click on this square shape, which is free. Put it there, extend this towards right, then click on this and extend towards top. Then click on text, select any of the text available here. Let's say select this one. Now it has three different types of text, three or four. Click outside, you will see this as a one uh, entity, but when you click inside, you will see all these. So click inside, then click on ungroup, and now you can see there are three, four groups. Now click all those which you don't need. And this you need, okay, change the title, extend this, resize this small or large. Now drag this there, change the color by clicking on this and then white color. Change the color of this one to green like this, very simple. Now how to insert the image which we have downloaded from CodeCogs. To insert that image, click on these uploads, upload an image or video, select the device your computer, you can also upload from Google Drive and now select this image which we have created in Code Cogs. Select on that, click open. It will start uploading this image here. You will see this bar, then click on this and then you can adjust this if you want. So I'm not making other slides, but this is how you can create math expression. So this portion of video was for those of my subscribers who are math teachers and I hope they will definitely click the like button. So please click the like button if you have liked this video. So this is it for today. I have shown you how to create video lectures in PowerPoint in just few minutes. This is the fastest method of creating educational videos or video lectures for any purpose, even for your YouTube videos. So thanks for watching and see you next time.